Hey, my name is Wit, and today we're going to walk through adding team members and assigning roles to projects in CircleCI that are connected to a GitLab repository. In this video, we'll pick up right after where you would have connected a CircleCI account to a GitLab repo and started your first project. If you haven't already done that, visit the docs page, which we've linked to in the video notes, and you'll be able to find step-by-step -step instructions to get started. But before we dive in, let's briefly talk about the different roles and their permissions that are available for GitLab projects in CircleCI. There are three to be aware of, and they are the admin, the contributor, and the viewer. There's a detailed breakdown of the level of access that these different roles get across different features, also in the docs which we've linked to, but generally speaking, administrators have full access to use, manage, and make changes to all features and settings, and contributors have access to most features but cannot edit or make changes to settings, while viewers can only see activity within the project. These different roles are helpful to make sure that users only have access to the functionality that they need to do their jobs and eliminate any concern that someone may inadvertently make changes to settings that could impact others' work. All right, let's get started on the dashboard page of your GitLab project. From here, you will wanna to go to the people page of your organization, which you can do by navigating to the left-hand menu, selecting organization settings, and then people, and you're there. All right. Now that we're here, we can go ahead and add some team members to the project. You can see it's just me. I'm the Ordic admin. All you have to do is click this blue invite button and then enter their email. After you've entered their email, you can assign a role, admin, contributor, or viewer. We already have an admin, so let's go ahead and add a contributor. You can also add multiple email addresses here, but keep in mind that you can only assign one role to the group. So either add these folks individually or add them in batches based upon the role that you want to assign. If you accidentally assign the wrong role, don't worry, you can go and make changes. I'll show you how to do that in just a few. But once you've added everybody that you want to invite to your project, hit send invites, and they'll get an email. Until they have accepted that email, um, accepted the invitation, they will be listed over here in the pending section. And this is where you can reassign them if need be. Um, let's go ahead and make myself a viewer now. And let's say somebody no longer needs to be a part of the project, you can cancel it. They didn't get their email, resend that invite all pretty straightforward. Once they have accepted that invitation, you'll find them over here in the people tab where you can again reassign and you can also remove from an organization. But keep in mind that every organization needs to have at least one admin. If I try and remove myself, it won't let me. There must be at least one organization admin, so don't do that. All right, that was easy enough. You've added some folks, they've accepted their invitations, and now you can start getting work done in Circle CI. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check back to our YouTube channel for more content and demos. Thanks.